Welcome learner, my name is Shivai Devnath. In this tutorial, I talk about multi-language applications or internationalization, whatever say, because in this tutorial, I talk about how can change your application language as per user needs because in the India, we have so many different kind of language is available and different user when using our apps, they are mostly compatible with their own language. So for that purpose, our government application or nationalized applications are mostly developed with English language primarily, but after that, that language terms and words are changes as per local basis. So in this tutorial, I will be talk about how can change your application language very easily as per user requirement. So let's start. This is actually Flutter GetX official website, official package website. And we will be use GetX CLI because these two packages very helpful for us because when we are change our application language. So that time these two package will help us lot of things. Okay. So this is actually our syntax which will be used very soon. Okay. So first thing what will we do actually. So first thing we will be create a folder which call assets. So right now we are create a folder which call assets. So this is actually assets folder and after creating this assets folder we can use in this folder we can create a another folder which call locals. In this locals we are actually use two JSON file. Why two JSON file? Because our primary language will be English. And that English language mainly follow US standard. So for that purpose, we are using EN underscore US. Okay. And as well as we can also can create a another file which called bn bn underscore bengali it is actually bengali language standard which is actually globally approved axi code so right now we want to create some sections so here we are create a page section. So here we are create welcome. So this is actually main part. So this is actually welcome. We want to use for the application. Okay. So welcome. And now also if we want to create another thing like if you want to use some button name like button fields so you can use button button and for the button you can use various type of buttons if you want to use in your application so that time you can use buttons button section actually this is actually button section and after then you can use the button name like login login button and you can put the name as a login login and register button register button and also we can use some click button so like click we can use click we can use click l i c k click so this is actually these three things we can use and also we can use another language another button in our app which call change color change color okay so we can also use it as a change color C H A N G and change Zero, hello, color. So this is actually 
main part for the English language but I have actually put this all this property in Bengali but we actually put this all in English language because this is actually English language and we want to change it for the Bengali okay so how can do it so we go for that Google Translate and we are put the this languages for the English and also we can get the output of Bengali language okay so when we get the Bengali so then time we can just copy and paste here okay and as well as if you want to create for Hindi so Hindi HI and HI for Hindi JSON field okay we are translate all the part English to Bengali currently English to Bengali are changes and now we also it change to English to Hindi. this is actually language part and in this language we can change it through this and in here we are using json file and this json file we are using three languages and one is the english language another is bengali language or another is hindi language we are already use these three languages are here these are actually json format your application language and this is actually a section if you using any text format in your application so that time you can use directly text format like this and if you are using any button component or any other component like header body any page name any text input field so that time you can use the section name like this okay so how can convert these files using in a class file because this is actually only a structure where we can initiate the data very easily okay but this data cannot be used directly in our application so for that purpose we need to be convert this json data with the classes okay so for that reason we can use the application json using this syntax so this is actually syntax get generate local assets locals here i copy the code and now paste it here and after paste it we can generate our code okay so when we try to generate our code so that time it's say assets slash local directory does not exist why because when we are create the assets folder this assets folder not be registered with the pop spec yml so right now we need to be initiate the this assets folder with our application register file this is actually pop spec yml is the application register file and this application register file we can add it a section which is which is called assets this is the actually assets section and this assets section actually used for declaring the assets folder a s s a t s so after then we can try to generate this locals file okay actually problem is we need to be registered it in the flutter section so for that reason we need to be one tab here because in this flutter part we need to be registered the assets and this assets folder are registered like this so this is actually a mistake by me and this assets folder asset does not exist it's right 
or not because we already register the assets folder here already okay actually i mistake the folder name here now once again i just stop the application and i think this folder and this folder is not same because we are actually working in the getx clean app because here i have so many apps already here so actually i need to go in this folder first so for that purpose i need to be click over the project folder and after then we can use open in integrated terminal and after that we can applying the syntaxes here okay so now the files are generated so already files are generated so this is actually generated file and this generated file actually already created all the required files so which actually want to be used in our application right so this is all the section already comes here and here we are seeing everything here here i mistake something so here actually it is actually english but by mistake i change it as a hindi so for that purpose from this file to this file which it converted so that time it comes hindi here so right now regenerate the resources and after that we are seeing it properly okay okay so this is actually all the sections which actually will be used in our application okay after this what we can do how can apply this in our application so when we want to use this auto generated part so for that purpose we can use here translation key this translation key actually referred this file and this app translation class actually key value paired and this is actually key and it is actually value and this key referred as a local key and this local key configured like this okay so this is actually all the things are actually we can use here so now app translation are here and this is the this is all the translations we are using here okay after then what will be the default default language for your application so currently we are using default language our application english so for that reason we can use it as a en english language and, and that language pattern is en okay so this is our local language and in this language we will be use for our application okay now i can start the application so this is actually welcome screen so we want to use welcome so right now here we can use welcome like this this welcome actually comes from the translator part which actually we can use in our application when we are using this translation so this is actually dot tr means internationalization process will be applied with the tr syntax but problem is we are using here const so for the const variable that means this variable cannot be changed dynamically because it's actually changed by dynamically when we are using this dot tr so right now i just remove the const and after then here prefer const with constant but it's not necessary it's only for suggestions if you want to use you can do if you don't want so you can't use it but i want to use it here because i need to see i want to see the code more cleaner 
so for that purpose i can use it here okay and when i use it as a hindi like hi and i want to use it as a hindi and after then if we are reload our application so that time our application language also change here so uh, if i use the hindi but here we got the bengali language so that means here hindi not be changed okay so that means and after it regenerate and after the regeneration we just refresh it and it is actually changed as a hindi okay so now we can use the three buttons here for the changes the language okay so how can use the button these three things we can use so when we want to change the application language so that time we can set the language part update locals this is actually update locals and local we can use the local string for here we can use bn and it is bn for bengali and also we can use here so this is actually the enter and this is the actually language changes process we can apply for our application and now if we are clicking here so for english we are seeing it as english if we want to see it in hindi so then after pressing this button it's change as a hindi and if you want to see it as a bengali so then it is change as a bengali language so if you want to change it your own language so you can do it also and if you want to use it for your button simply use some click button like this so this click button always changes by language change so how can do that so this is actually click but this time if you want to use click like this so it cannot be applied because this key not be created in our section and also it cannot be generate any application key so right now we are using this this is actually key which actually uses in our as a string format so this is actually key a string format if we are using the uh, translate so that time if you are uh, use but this click are not be changed this click only change when you are using as a button click already seen when we are change the receive the application so after saving it button name also change okay so this is actually way of using our application language as per your own language and it is very simple to use and i think my demonstration of this language changes process for the flutter application mostly i use it as easy as possible so i think you will be like my tutorial if you like my tutorial so definitely hit the like button of this video and if you are new in my youtube channel so subscribe my youtube channel also hit the notification bell icon for quick updates when i publish any new video and we will be meet with you with the next learning video